till I have blackouts or trying some bad things. Hey everyone! I know it's been a long time since we've seen each other last time, but it feels like that I have to make a confession. I'm not a drug addict, I'm not a lesbian, I'm not completely broke, uh, I'm not pregnant, but I experienced depression quite recently. I remember last month I was just walking in the streets and kept thinking about like, what am I here, what's my purpose? Like, is there any mistake that I've done in the past that now has all these bad consequences that literally nothing's going on in my life? And I don't know how this story could end, uh, for example, me drinking somewhere till I have blackouts or trying some bad things probably just to get any new feelings in my life. But my friends, to be precise, my classmate, she just briefly mentioned a book called Monk Who Sold His Ferrari written by Robin Sharma and she said that it's one of those books that everyone has to read at some point of their life oh yeah and I see your skeptical face but guys don't ever judge a book by its cover or title so at first I didn't really pay attention to what she said but then I went home and I googled it and I downloaded it on my iPad because every book that I read I do it on my iPad and yes my eyes are okay I would say that this book is not life-changing, but it's mind-changing. And it's not like the collection of wise quotes from Tumblr under hashtag quote of the day. It is an ordinary fiction book with the plot with the main characters, but it makes you think in a different way or probably to start paying attention to the things that you've never paid attention to. So anyways, what is it about three main dimensions, if we can say so, of our lives as human beings? So it's body, soul and mind, and by mind he means brain and intelligence. And the second thing is YOLO, you only live once. And the third thing that I picked up from this book is that the importance of me and only myself. But let's get back to the very first point. So for example, body. In less than six months it's gonna be summer and I wanna go out to the beach and wear my favorite bikini but like I'm so lazy to go to the gym. And Robin Sharma clearly explains why is it good and why it is important and why we are usually jealous of people with skinny bodies. It's not about being skinny, it's about being healthy. And I didn't quite think about that before. Being beautiful equals being healthy. Or, well, for example, he provides the concept of grave mentality. And then when it comes to the YOLO thing. One of the most tragic things that you can do in your life is to live the life for tomorrow. Because there is no such thing as tomorrow. He says that, for example, you should have like a certain private place in your life. Probably it could be the shower where I can stand for hours just not sinking underwater but like thinking about things in that place you should go preferably every morning and before the day starts you should ask yourself if it was my last day what would i have done and with such simple phrase your mindset changes immediately because if it was so my realization of time would change i would try to do my best every single day and that what he asks for and why I've said before about me and only me, because he mentions again that self-development is one of the most important things, or probably the most important. Nobody will love you until you love yourself. If you can't enjoy your life by yourself, there is something really wrong going on in your life. Like he says that the goal of everyone's life is to live the life with the goal. Yes, I know that it may sound a little bit fake, but it's true. And it doesn't necessarily mean that tomorrow you should wake up and realize what's your purpose of life. It just means that at least for a short period of time, you should know where you're heading to. And I know it from my personal experience, and I'm sure you do too. When you know what your end goal is, for you it becomes much more easier because your brain automatically builds the strategies and the paths and the ways how you can achieve this goal 
like in a short period of time. So all these little thingies that he mentions in his book, we all have them, but somewhere deep in our subconscious, so we don't usually take it out of our brains and bring it back to our life and use it, and that's the problem. It's actually useless to try and get all these phrases out of the context because your brain has to perceive them in your own way, otherwise the lesson isn't learned. So that's why I really recommend to you guys to read this book and I really hope that you'll dedicate the time for this. I just spent one day in my life reading it right from the beginning right to the very end and the next day probably not even the next day it was the same evening the same night when i just realized that everything is so good that i'm alive i'm healthy i'm very lucky to be surrounded with good friends and i have my favorite hobby and there are plenty of other things that are going in my life but i sometimes take them for granted and by the way, I'm not getting paid for the videos like this. And probably it's worth mentioning that the most popular video I have on my YouTube channel so far is about my favorite books. But unfortunately it's in Russian, so I will consider filming a video in English. So guys, I hope everyone's got a great day. Put thumbs up if you like these videos. Don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel because I'm going for a trip and I also want to do the video that you were asking me a lot about. So subscribe not to miss them too. And see you soon!